guys, I'm Exactcast, and welcome back to another episode of Sim Airport. Uh, we are probably gonna finish it off in this episode, just so that we uh, kind of get to the end of it. We've got our extra satellite up and running. Um, we're making way more money than we need. Um, everything is kind of just going along swimmingly. Uh, we'll probably fill in a few more of these things. Build an arcade, I think, is one of the things that I would like us to do. And yeah, and that'll kind of be the end of it. Uh, we've got a number of lounges and so on available. I will put this onto the Steam Workshop once I'm done, so you can go ahead, expand, and uh, every, do everything to your liking. Um, and that'll be the end of it, I think. Um, one more thing, we actually have a Exact Chaos Community Discord that is available now. So please go down into the, uh, into the description and you'll find the invite link to the Discord. And uh, yes, the first hundred people to join the Discord will get a special um, role of Pioneer, stating that you are the building blocks of our community. Okay, now let us go ahead and get an arcade going over here so that there's a little bit more stuff for them to be doing. Uh, maybe something like that. That's an arcade there. And now we want some arcade games. Objects for what? Can we just say arcade? Ooh, 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 there it is. Some arcade blaster games. Okay, driver games. Oh, I like the driver games. We'll just do like four of them next to each other. Grab a bit of a pinball. Do another one there and a retro game. One, two, three. We'll do some on the other side as well. and a few more pinball machines over here excellent with all of those built the uh, the arcade should have tons of fun for everybody now i want to do some stuff on this side as well so let's quickly get our floor in place over here what kind of flooring do we use that's kind of the exit channel green flooring we've got all of our windows in place um, so that's fine nice 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 now, nice flooring over here. Okay, let's go here, have a look. What kind of floors do we have available? So stone, this stone thing, I think I'll just do, I'll just run the stone flooring all the way through there. And like so, and like so, and Fill it in over there. Then we'll do something a little different to the others. So let's do just wood zero one for the store here. And maybe that entire section through there as well. Nice. Now let's get some kitchen flooring going on. Uh, maybe a little something like that for the kitchen cool 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 and a little something like that for the kitchen over here also get a little bit of something going on for the cafe hmm which one which one will we do just no idea maybe we'll do slightly different wood flooring for the for the cafe here and then for the two lounges maybe a little something like this for this one and a little something like that for that one so we'll just do all kinds of different flooring over here perfect so what else do we have time for i'm kind of thinking we need an extra arcade over here as well so we'll do a little bit of arcade in there then we'll go into objects and get the arcade games okay again what we'll do is we will set up a few like that i'm interested in a bit of a driver game uh, something like one two three four like so for the driver game get a bit of pinball going on one two three a bit of a retro game okay maybe a bit more of the blaster game over here and another pinball. Ooh, that's not what I want. 
perfect something like that let's cancel that one right over there and there's some some arcade stuff going on over there now let's get back to do putting some windows in place get that in there windows uh, this entire stretch could just practically be windows just so let's just run it all the way through to the end all the way over there run it all the way through there similarly we'll run it all the way uh, probably not well to be honest you can probably just run it straight through there as well through the bathroom so there's a nice view from the bathroom in onto the runway excellent and I also want to do it in here so that you can actually see from the one side to the other side uh, maybe not the kitchen well doesn't really matter too much so we'll run it through there run it through all of that and run it through there and I'm not sure there's still room for another lounge or something in there at some point what's going on upstairs here do we need some more stuff up here or are we kind of set we probably need a little bit more seating over here so let's get ourselves some benches right okay <coughs> excuse me Whew. it's a bit of a sneeze there okay now what I think we should do is we'll sh we'll do a little bit of this over here I think that is appropriate like so that's probably about enough there then what we'll do is we'll run some seating in here we'll see okay so let's do that and now we'll do kind of the other side like so well that's sufficient we can actually just squeeze in some more stuff over there so that's fine this one is just the one that's not going to work so what we'll do is we'll get ourselves some some potted plants or something in there uh, what we'll do is we'll just run a couple of plants like that we'll grab a bit of a garbage bin or two or three we'll just kind of squeeze that in there and there and so that should work fine right in there uh, ooh, potentially we could have also done a little bit okay let's cancel that piece there and what we'll do is we'll get ourselves one of these little vending machines going on vending machines we'll get a drinks vending machine right in there and we probably need a bit of a phone charger where am I over here uh, uh, maybe something like this maybe something like that so there's some phone chargers available over there as well nice um, so they're sitting over here they're sitting over there we need a little bit of seating here and there so let's get back to the seats uh, no the benches get some more stuff going on um, we'll run it like this bit of a gap and ooh, 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 can it cancel that piece there's a lot of little stuff to get it to work and we'll do one of these three seater pieces over there finish it off over there nice so there's a little bit going on there now we'll also do the other side so that there's a little bit of a a little bit of a pass through passing by lane something over there but there's some 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 seating available nice so there we go let's get ourselves a bit of a garbage bin or two or three so we'll have one on either edge well there is one on that side so we'll just kind of do one there and one there and that's perfect and now we'll get a bit of a plant give me uh, give me that one slot it in there and slot it in there and slot it in there at the end um, yeah that's pretty cool so there's some seating available fairly close by over here 
And the question is, do we do a little bit more here? I think so. I think we try and squeeze in a little bit more right over there. Uh, let's grab that guy, we'll squeeze it in there. Perfect. Look at that. There's a little bit of seating there. Just waiting, hanging out, hanging out there for us. A little bit like that and a little bit like so. We'll do one like that and one like that and that should cover it. Let's get ourselves a bit of a garbage bin over here. We'll slot one in there. Slot one in there. And yeah, there's some, some stuff going on there. Let's get a few more plants. Nice, 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 nice. So now that's pretty much all of it. Now I think we can squeeze in a few more over here. Let's get some benches going on. Perfect. So there's a little bit going on there. We'll squeeze in one more piece like that. And so now seating is available over here as well. Nice. All of that working fairly well for us. We don't have a lot of... So what I'll do is I will go ahead and get some vending machines and we'll place it in, in a few of these spots. So I'll get a drinks vending machine like that. We'll get a food vending machine like so. We'll do a similar thing right over there. These are all used. There's one over there. Uh, we'll probably do one over here somewhere. One over there. And there are some over there. Perfect. Now let's get a bit of a drinks vending machine going on. Do it on the other side there. We'll do it on the other side over here. We'll try and find a... Oh, with some spots over here. Let's do... A drinks vending machine, an electronics vending machine, and a food vending machine. No, that's not right. A food vending machine, like so. And then I'm trying to get a bit of a kiosk going on over here. Um, there should, oops, a kiosk, something small, a sushi kiosk maybe. That's not quite small. That These are big. The health food one. Uh, let's dismantle uh, these guys and we'll just move them along. We'll cancel that project. And once these are dismantled, we'll try and find ourselves a little spot over here for the coffee and so. Come on. Okay, dismantled. Now let's squeeze that in, a coffee one. Uh, then we'll go back to vending and we will find ourselves an electronics vending machine over there, a food vending machine and a drinks vending machine right over here. So there you go. We're just going to have to link that to the kitchen down below. So one of these will probably have to switch directions so that they can actually get up and down to this particular spot. But then that's that area should be working pretty well. Okay, so with that in mind, let's uh, link this guy up, assign to upstairs. Oh, it doesn't need to be assigned. So there you go. So no need. So we'll just uh, switch the direction again, and then that should be fine, because that actually doesn't need anything. So you can go and come and come along and get to, get some coffee in the middle of that. If we go over here, um, do we have stores and cafes and vending machines? All of that is pretty much sorted maybe what we could do is grab a little bit of an electronics vending machine over here somewhere something like that maybe perfect that's pretty cool um down here all of that's looking awesome it's very minimalist the one thing that i don't actually have over here is some of the phone charger things so let's grab some of that phone chargers stations um where exactly will we grab a few of these so let's grab one over there let's grab one over here we have a couple over there we'll squeeze in one more over here oh there's a little bit of room over here let's do some of this and some of that um <clears throat> we'll definitely grab one there and one here grab a few in a couple of spaces over there as well well that's kind of okay 
one there, maybe one over here. Should be fine. So there's a few phone charges available there. Uh, there could be a bit of a kiosk that goes in here though. Let's grab that. Kiosk, something like a health food. Kiosk right over there. Nice. So once that's built, it should do. do. And an electronics vending machine uh, will go right next to it over there. Good stuff. So there's a little bit of stuff happening right over there. So once that's built, we should be able to link that to the kitchen, I believe, downstairs. But then we will have to change, switch the direction of this little one guy there. Everybody else is trying to get up here, but that one will be able to go down so that the chef can get back and forth to the kitchen. I believe that's going to have an issue as soon as it opens. Assigned to a kitchen, so we'll uh, grab this kitchen over here and we'll assign it right upstairs to the health food thing and we'll close it and so they will be able to go up here and then come back down or we'll go up there and go back down here nice so now they'll be able to use that so we've got passengers up at an 80% uh, satisfaction rating very unsatisfied with hunger though so that's a little weird because we've got eating facilities all over the show let's quickly see what our flight schedule is looking like so can we start scheduling a few more things I'm specifically interested in the X, X, uh, XL ones so if we go to this guy we'll grab uh, a380 over there and a 7 and an a380 over there and that one and that one so let's grab all of those and we'll find them slots so galactic over here to the xl gates maybe something like that and we need to make sure that you just spread that out to at least a three and a half hour duration that's a four actually so let's do it a four hour duration over there um that's still an evening one let's go for the afternoon slot Something like that, four hours. There we go. And then the evening slot, maybe over here somewhere. Oh, there's another one. So we'll do a little bit of this. Grab it at four hours. So something like that maybe. And then we'll slot in this big guy over here somewhere at four hours again. Okay, perfect. So there's a few more in there. Let's get some more X, XXL ones. So let's say Super Alliance um, A350. We'll get that one. We'll get that one, that one, and that one. So another four that we can try and slot in. That should be a lot of work for us. Super Alliance, four hours. There we go. Um, Super Alliance, four hours over here nice we'll get a couple more over here somewhere super lines over here at four hours like so and one more starting somewhere over there and we'll slot in there something like that there we go that is a few more flights to squeeze in all those A gates. Um, what else do we have? We don't have a lot of PM slots. This is all large. So let's go back to large. Um, what's going on over here? There's a couple of large ones. So we'll get two of these uh, Smart Lux guys. So we'll see about slotting that in. This will be at three hours, right? And we'll get another one over here somewhere. Maybe like that <clears throat> again at like three hours should do the trick nice atlantic international gives us a pm large let's grab that one a little something like so we'll give it a three hour one window there for a turnaround that's pretty cool a ford air is going to give us two more large ones let's grab those We can actually squeeze some of them in here. Do something like that and we'll slot the other one. 
What? Is that a small? Oh, it's a small gate. Uh, we're interested in a bit of a large gate somewhere. There we go. There's still a little slot av available over here. Three hours right there. Thank you very much. So that's slotted in there perfectly. Juno Connect gives us 1767 again in the AM. So we may have to just squeeze these together a little bit. Nice. Wrap in a bit of a three hour time slot right there. Nice. I'll uh, move it over a little bit. Like so. Nice. So that's a few, fair few flights that we've got in there now. Um, a few in the PM maybe. Smart Lux Air 787 XL in the PM. Let's find a slot for that. Mm, maybe that's getting a little tight. We could slot a little something in there on the XX, uh, on the XLs. Let's do 20 only. So let's have a look here. If we drop that to three, we should be able to do two of these at three hours next to each other. Not sure whether that's going to be very sufficient, but that's okay. We can probably slot in one more um, in the AM. Of course we can grab the AM one. Oh, that's not a, that's not an XL. Okay. So there we go. So there's a ton more stuff for us to to do but really that's kind of uh, sums up the airport for us our credit worthiness is awesome what is our um, what is our um, value the credit report is absolutely amazing our credit history has got some negative factors the airport value is great profit and loss is pretty awesome if we look at yesterday's profit and loss statement we're making more than a million a day um, why did our income drop so much? I don't know, something, I don't know, these are some big expenses every now and again. The airport value is up at 54 million. So selling the airport would be absolutely awesome. Selling your airport allows you to start over with higher initial balance and retain your current research progression. You can still continue running this airport from the most recent save. Okay, so the requirements is run the airport for at least 15 days minimum value of 1.5 million requires a CFO with an office requires a finance VP uh, with an office so that's fine so we could sell this airport at 54 million and I would be pretty intrigued at, in terms of what we can build straight off the bat with with that kind of money but there is look at these guys look at these guys doing their thing over here tons of things going through here let's just go back to this one more time and see so we haven't had a perfect ops bonus in quite a long time and i don't think it's something that we can still meaningfully have as part of a, a large airport like this it just seems ever so elusive and not something that you can actually pick up let's quickly go back over here and see how all of this is working there are some cues with the ticketing but it's very minor and i do think it works fairly well to not have um a lot of queuing spaces over here let's just let's just let everybody queue up at the nearest desk and see how that goes and we could do more of these kiosks and all of that but we can manage a fair number of passengers through this very minimal ticketing area over here baggage uh was probably worth us looking into adding some additional baggage capacity over here the idea was that we could add a little two more of them over here two or four more of them over here but all in all i think it works really really well We've got some spare offices over here and some conference rooms and so on. A little hallway over there to all of those uh, airline offices. I do like the way we're kind of separating between the security access point going through there, ticketing through here. Oh, this is a lot. Okay. I am going to go ahead and dismantle a lot of these objects so that we can make sure to include more of these kiosks so let's quickly get all of these things uh, all of these things dismantled um, okay so get those dismantled we'll put some more of these kiosks in place hopefully because these queues are starting to get out of hand a little bit that's the queue to the uh, to the little bit of the, the first class queue over there for check-in and that's also completely out of hand so let's just make sure so if we just pause that for a second let's quickly say 
So if I say assign this over there, I'm also going to go ahead and assign that one to there um, and maybe this one to there. So at least we, we I want us to get our, our first class guys through a little quicker and get that queue a little bit better. So let's quickly get those kiosks in place. I have no idea this was going to be um, get out of hand so much. So let's add a ton more of these things in here so that we can um, can get get a lot more people through there look at them queuing at all of those facilities so all of these extra ones is going to be great for us i could also do a variety of extra ones of them over here but we'll be able to sort that actually that queue is maybe so let's um let's unassign that one over there so there's um Just two of them being assigned to first class. Yes, uh, absolutely. So I think that sorted things out a fair bit. Okay, excellent. This is an absolute nightmare. People waiting for all kinds of stuff over here. We should really should add some more um, baggage carousels. But our security is really working well. There's really very little going on in terms of queuing for the security stuff. But there's only this one queue here. And people are actually missing this over there so let's quickly have a quick look so you my friend um, you're over there uh, so let's uh, unassign you from that queue right there and okay so these two and then this one um, I would like to assign you over here as well so now you're the double assignee Hopefully we can get through that queue a little quicker now. There's a lot of people coming through here. And I'm kind of tempted to just extend that queue a little bit. So let's grab that. Um, so this queue. No. Oh, such a uh, silly way of doing it. We'll just extend that queue a little bit over there. So hopefully it's a little, whoa, it's still a little tough. People are now missing their flights while they're in this queue here. Okay, so let's, uh, I just want to unassign from that queue there. So this is now only the first class guys coming to these three. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I think that is going to be working a little bit better. I think it was just a matter of things not being... Whoa, look at this crazy stuff right there. Guys, but I think... I'm not going to I'm not gonna build any more of those. I think these terminals are pretty awesome. Everything is working really well. Uh, well, not everything. There is obviously always room for improvement in a game like this. I don't think we've ever really needed the extra runway. I think we've managed to get the runways through... Uh, get, get through on the runways pretty well even though we've got a lot there's a very limited waiting actually going on a lot of time where the runway is just not being used um, let's quickly have a look at our final report over here at the end of the day oh what's our last achievement of year national airport nice so uh, very good that we finished it off with a national airport achievement let's quickly see so we obviously didn't make that let's quickly have a look at our profits and loss statement for yesterday we are up over the 2 million mark in terms of what the kind, the kind of money that we're making. So it's really awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching this series. Thank you so much for all your interaction and the comments and so on. Um, I would encourage you to join the Exact Chaos community within the Discord. The um, invite link is down below in the comments, uh, not in the comments, in the description. Um, I really encourage you to join that and uh, and have uh, a lot of fun and discussions with the with the community be part of how we decide what the next series will be and so forth um, yes again thank you so much for your support uh, hit that like button and see you in the next series bye bye